It can sometimes be tough to brainstorm new Gen AI use cases and determine which ones to tackle. One method we recommend trying is the creative matrix. A creative matrix is great because it could help your team think through different aspects of what Gen AI can do. For this creative matrix workflow, you would get a team together and create two axes. The axes are a bit flexible, but we could give you some ideas. On one axis, you might write the different options for Gen AI solutions. This could be organized by Gen AI product, modality, or another dimension. On the other axis, you would write out things that are specific to your business. This could be business personas, workflows, or strategic goals. Then, have the team write sticky notes, either virtually or in person, with different ideas of how the two axes can intersect and place them in the right spot. This should get you to think creatively about how your organization can leverage Gen AI to truly help your business priorities. Let's take a look at this creative matrix sample from a team working on a faux floral business. On one axis, they have the business priorities for their faux floral business. On the other axis, they have some Google Cloud Gen AI capabilities. We will read out just a few examples of what the team can add on sticky notes, and then you will be able to see a few more below this video. For example, the overlap between the Drive Innovation section and Vertex AI Search could be that we create a search tool where customers can upload images to find similar faux floral arrangements. Or if we want to enhance customer experience with Vertex AI Conversation, we could build an AI-powered chatbot to provide instant customer support and answer questions about faux floral care, arrangement, and ordering. Also, to increase efficiency, we could use Vertex AI Studio to fine-tune a model to analyze customer data and predict future demand for different faux floral products. There are really so many sticky notes that we could add here, but we want to also give you a chance to practice thinking of some of your own. Once you have your creative matrix, you could then go through each sticky note and determine how impactful the solution would be and how much work the solution is to build. Measure things like feasibility and impact. Time to practice idea generation yourself. Ready to practice? Let's dive in.